Let's work through problem 67 on page V of your chemistry page 1127. This is a titration problem. I copied the problem and put it here on the screen for you so you can see it. And you'll see in the page above it, it shows the steps used to calculate the concentration of a given solution. I'll let you read those steps for yourself. We're gonna follow them as we solve this problem. I highlighted what is given, because we don't know the concentration of the acid, the H2SO4. We know we have 10 milliliters of the acid, we just don't know what the concentration is. But we have been given the volume and the molarity of the sodium hydroxide, NaOH. So you'll see from here, we can, you'll see the arrow sh here showing that I'm converting the 40 milliliters into liters because we have to have it in liters to uh, figure out the moles. So one liter is a thousand milliliters. So if I simplify that, we get 0 0.04 liters. And then notice, remember the magic triangle? We've talked about this before. If I put the liters here in the bottom, the problem gives us the molarity, 0 0.005. So we'll put that in right here, and they're side by side. So we can calculate the number of moles by just multiplying these two together. So get your calculator out right now, stop the video, pause it, <clears throat> and calculate that answer before you move on. All right, hopefully you did that calculation and you came up with 0 0.0002 moles of NaOH. Now, this is where the stoichiometry comes in. One mole of H2SO4 has to match up with two moles of sodium hydroxide, and then of course we get the react the products. We don't need that right here, but you see that in the problem. So we have a ratio of one to two. So if I know that I have this amount of sodium hydroxide, this many moles of sodium hydroxide, I can use this ratio, put that at the bottom, okay? Put the acid on the top. So I'm gonna take this times one, divide by two, or times one half, and that will give you the number of moles of H2SO4. All right, so again, get your calculator out. Take this number of moles of sodium hydroxide, times one, divide by two, and figure out how many moles of acid we have. Do that before you go on. All right, so I assume you did that calculation and we should have gotten 0 0.0001 moles. Now that's how many moles of the acid, H2SO4, all right? So we did that on the previous screen. We're dropping that into this magic triangle. Again, moles goes on the top. Liters, moles per liter is molarity. We're being asked to solve for the molarity of the acid. So again, they give us 10 milliliters. That was in the original problem, 10 milliliters. And if we divide that by 1,000, we get 0 0.01 liters, okay? The, for molarity, this always has to be in liters. So now I can take the 0 0.01, plug that in here for liters, I can drop in the moles from the previous step and then use your calculator and I'm not finishing this problem for you. The final answer you have to <laughs> do on your own. Simplify, calculate, and the answer you get is the molarity, okay? So then you'll write the answer as that decimal number moles of sodium, um, hydro, um, hydrosulf sulf yeah, sulfuric acid, H2SO4. All right, you want to hear some good news? Yay! In this case, this is the only titration problem you have to do. So, on the website, I have a link to a couple of videos if you want to actually watch a demonstration of what a titration would look like. And uh, that is in it's interesting to watch. 
You don't have to totally understand it and master it because the good news is you will not have to do a problem this complicated on the checkup, the self-test, or the PACE test. Yay! But they do want you to get practice doing it here on page V. So try to understand the steps. We're taking something that we know the concentration of. We can figure out then how many moles we have of that. Do stoichiometry to figure out how many moles we have of the other solution. And then since we know the volume, we can calculate the concentration. All right. I hope that helps you work your way through problem 67 and um, show your work maybe on a separate sheet of paper. When you go to the score key, they may have done some of the steps in a little different order, but you should get to the same final answer.